Γεια σας. This is the Greek Reporter Weekly News. Greek singer Nikos Papazoglou died after a long-term battle with cancer. One of the most prominent forces of contemporary popular Greek music, Nikos Papazoglou represented a special case in the Greek music scene. He lived in Thessaloniki with his wife and two kids. Best known for his signature red bandana, he had an exceptional deep voice that is known for its passion and idiosyncratic tone. He mixed old and traditional sounds, poetic as well as powerful. More than half of the best songs heard over the last 20 years were actually his. Born in Thessaloniki, Papazo would become performing in a number of local groups in the late 1960s. His work generated an ever-expanding audience in Northern Europe and America. In certain countries, such as Germany and the Netherlands, Papazoglou assumed the status of a cult persona. According to the Financial Times, Germany is urging Athens to adopt contingency plans that would foresee a voluntary, market-friendly debt restructuring should Greece fail to meet its ambitious fiscal targets. The newspaper wrote on Saturday that one plan involved swapping Greek debt at market prices for paper guaranteed by the Eurozone, similar to Brady bonds, issued by South American countries in the late 1980s. A reporter for the Financial Times was quoted as saying, The government has long since started preparing for a Greek restructuring. It's not pushing Greece into this. It knows that none of these plans will work and the Greeks don't want them. The Chancellor declined to comment on the Financial Times report, referring all media inquiries on the matter to the Finance Ministry. Greek riot police clashed with residents of Keratea, a town outside Athens, who were protesting against plans concerning the creation of a landfill for the storage of the capital's waste. It is said that more than 20 people were injured on Thursday. Police and public health officials mentioned that three riot policemen and at least 20 suspected protesters were hospitalized after the clashes. Protesters attacked riot police with rocks and firebombs. Police responded with tear gas, which wafted through the town, setting residents scurrying for cover. Keratea residents first set up roadblocks in December, demanding authorities to abandon the plans for the dump. And now some interesting news from the USA. The Board of American Hellenic Educational Progressive Association, which is visiting Athens, met with the President of the Republic and the Prime Minister, and later with the President of the Greek Parliament, Mr. Petsalnikos. During the meeting in the Presidential Mansion, Mr. Papouya said that Greece is proud and grateful for Greeks abroad and mentioned that they are an important part of Hellenism, which is reflected in every country they live. Supreme President of AHEPA, Nikolas Karakostas, underlined that the organization makes every effort needed to help Greece and Cyprus. A woman of Greek descent from Cromwell received a postcard 46 years after it was sent by her grandfather in Greece. The postcard had no address, just the woman's name and that it was going to Hartford, where the 59-year-old woman used to live at the time. The postcard sent to Vasilia Mazzotta was dated April 20th, 1965 and contained an Easter greeting. Mazzotta has seen her grandfather John Sitaras only a few times when she visited Greece as a child. Despite the fact that she hadn't seen her grandfather for years, Mazzotta was emotionally touched. The mysterious postcard was delivered to Mazzotta by the carrier, but no one knows where it had been prior. Vasula Sitara, as her grandfather called her in the postcard, said that she will frame it with glass as it deserves to be preserved. And now some news from Hollywood. Three Greek Americans, Mark Ballas, Jennifer Aniston and John Stamos, made the people's most beautiful list for 2011. Jennifer Lopez was voted most beautiful and topped the list. Mark Ballas is included in the 25 beauties and hotties at 25. This category lists the hottest crop of stars turning 25 this year. Ballas has been a regular on Dancing with the Stars and recently was paired with Bristol Palin. Jennifer Aniston at 42 still looks stunning. 
John Stamos is one of the most beautiful Greek-American males and he couldn't be left out of the people's list. This year, the actor and producer, besides being praised for his beauty, is also a knowledge for his charity work. Let's see what's going on in Australia. The Greek community of Melbourne contacted the Federal Department of Immigration and Citizenship of Australia asking for sensibility concerning the request of Greek citizens to immigrate to Australia. Due to immigration provisions, which are valid today, it's almost impossible for someone coming from Greece to have a visa that would allow him to immigrate to Australia. As Mr. Papasteriadis claimed, he was before an inter-party committee and stated the community's views on the matter, while also mentioning Greeks' request to be allowed to immigrate to Australia. The members of the committee, three Labour senators and three Liberals, said that they are aware of the problem and expressed their willingness to cooperate with the Greek community for a possible solution. Moving on to Canada. A 44-year-old Greek-Canadian mother of three is in need for a stem cell transplant. She lives in Toronto, Canada with her family. Her recent diagnosis of acute myeloid leukemia has brought complete devastation to their lives. The only cure for Kathy's type of cancer is a successful stem cell transplant. Her siblings have been tested, but unfortunately they are not a match. Her only hope now to live is to find an unrelated donor. Kathy is of Greek descent, which makes a match more likely within the Greek community. However, all ethnicities are encouraged to help. For more news and updates, visit us at GreekReporter.com. Have a beautiful week and remember, Greeks are everywhere.